Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Andy. I am a variety streamer on Twitch and I do reaction videos here on YouTube. Today we're watching episode 3 of the second season of The Expense. So in the last episode, Miller, Holden and Fred Johnson managed to capture Dresden. However, Miller decided to kill Dresden and now I'm not sure how they are going to figure out how to get the information that they need to understand this virus and obtain the necessary information that Dresden had since he was the only one who could decipher the codes. So let's find out. Oh what's happening? Oh are these uh, missiles? No, they are missiles, aren't they? Is this Demos? It is. Oh shit. People in the station were killed instantly. They actually did it. There's no way this goes anywhere but war. I always knew Earth would strike first. Right, Earther? Yeah, he 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 doesn't consider himself an Earther. A fellow Damn, she's uh war is coming. She's such a boss. We named our planets after the ancient gods. Demos wasn't a god. No. He was a representation of the horrific fear that comes with war. Oh, then that makes a total sense then. From Mars, Demos is just a little dot, same as Venus is to us. But it's it was still there. It was still it was still theirs. If we had two moons and someone blew off one, we would still notice the difference. Did you know that Martian Marines always train at one G Earth gravity? Wow. If they so they are very the well prepared. Sooner or later, they will invade. Oh come on! I just hope these guys can send a message to them and clear off the their differences. Hey! What the? I don't want him anywhere near the prisoners. Why is Miller in shit? Oh, never mind. He shot that person. <laughs> I forgot about that. Shouldn't even be on this station. Hey, hey, that's something you need to get off your chest there. Get him right. Oh, Miller. I just forgot for a second. <laughs> Dozens of ships leave here every day. Pick one, and I'll get you on it. It's time for you to go. He's just gonna let him go? I'm a gun bag. <laughs> oh my god. Here's <laughs> how. Oh, dipped in shit right now. Amos just uh, drinks it in one go, and uh, Miller is still in the first cup. Captain doesn't want you around anymore. We don't want you around either. I mean, he has all the right to be to be angry. Just lost in, in very, very, very important information. Oh, he still has yeah. that after all this time. I figured we don't have a lot of marines have it. Opa. <laughs> what? Let it go. He shot an unarmed man right in the head. An unarmed mass murderer. Wait, is that why he's upset? Because he was unarmed? Are you defending him? You can't understand. We had Dresden. He was gonna talk. We could've used him. We could've what? Worked out a deal? I mean, you could have tortured him for information, maybe. I don't know. This is like a thousand years in the future. Don't they have like a device they can put on a person's head to check out uh, their memories, the information by force or something? Those are the survivors. Mostly low-level tech and security types, with the exception of that one. Yeah, that one That one might help with some information. We got ID scans for the whole lot of them. The last two years are completely blank for everyone. But before that, they all worked for the same company, Protogen. Aha! Uh -huh. We want to know about the proto-molecule. Then you should talk to Dr. Dresden. He's dead. What about the project? He's so obsessed with it. We need you to make a vaccine. Why would I want to do that? Why wouldn't you? I understand you grew up in Londrina on basic. That must have been hard. After the loss of your mother, she never complained. They had to Is be strong for you. To work for Protogen to find a cure. Her brain was fried. She didn't think anything was wrong with her. Dresden is gone. You don't have to answer to him anymore. If he were here, I'd thank him. That's very strange. I mean, it's understandable. He had to grow up with a mother like that and uh, managing to find a cure and he's working for it and he must feel very important and uh, with a with a great purpose. Can you please turn this shit up? Yeah, please. Wait, what? Tell him 
telling me that those sounds are coming off of arrows? How? A speed maker on Tycho. How is it coming from arrows? Isn't it everyone there just infected and dying? Those belters you're jamming to? We're dead. We're dying. That's why it's our anthem, Papa. A call to war. He's young, he wants action, he has a lot of hormones going through his body. <laughs> you know, in those inners, you figure out what's on arrows, you kill every last one of us to get it. Us? Belters. I liked I liked his beard. It was nice. Holy shit, she's back. The visions are back. How come he doesn't have uh, any uh, belter tattoos like all the other belters? The neurons in his right temporal parietal junction have been impeded. Part of his temporal lobe has been effectively erased. Which part? The part that governs empathy. You can do that. What? With a magnet. So someone waves a magnet at the right side of my head and suddenly I can watch 100,000 people die in agony and not give a shit. Wow. Well, that explains it then. Well, he's not a homicidal maniac. He just no longer has the capacity to consider any life other than his own meaningful. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I guess you will ha you would have to do that if, if if you need people to work for you to do this kind of project and uh, hope that they um, will not turn on you. I'm well aware of Private Travis's background and the shit that he gets for being born on Earth. Current appearances to the contrary, he is one of the toughest dusters I've served with. So this is about you. The sooner we have it out with Earth, the better. I think we're she's just... Okay, good. In order to Ganymede Station to secure the food supply. I feel like she's going to... Uh, and we serve uh, take we over the station or something because she really wants to fight. Befitting soldiers There's something the in her past that uh, is making her really angry at this whole situation and she's just looking for an opportunity to go to war with Earth. And I feel like if... Uh, her uh, superiors won't do it, she'll just uh, do it by force. Colonel Johnson, I'm Christian Avasarala. The things I've blamed on you, those words were lies. A facade to protect myself. Because you were right, I want to stop this war. So now, I'm asking you for help. Oh. Evidence. Oh, but is he gonna trust her? I'm afraid she's gonna use whatever he gives her. I got some you space a black sky faction leader to Come use on that woman. for this war or if i don't know helping i have a bad feeling the opa will put a hit out on you what is amos doing is he gonna question him amos knows something about this guy i was on arrows i saw julie mal in that hotel room it was madness and it stank of sick death and there was a puddle blue brown slime what is he trying to do he's trying to connect with him blue brown metabolic excretions and there she was dead. beautiful but i think i think maybe amos is beautifully dead. just using okay. a facade becoming the barnacles an expression of pattern matching systems and at the very center a seed crystal that requires and provides a massive amount of energy. I hope that Amos was only like trying to get to this guy so he could get information. But he was so convincing. The way that the way that he is acting, not the actor, but Amos. So convincing. No, don't tell me you're going with the Mormons, are you? Can I help you? I see your sign outside. It says we know where we're going. I think maybe I know where I need to go now, too. Oh, no, Miller. Well, why don't you tell me a little bit more about your journey? I was born into this. I've never doubted it. No, no, no. I mean, it's a big one. Now, who? No! No, Miller, don't go! It's a trap! What's that? What is that? It's coming directly from Eros. Oh, could it be the virus is, like, talking or something? Are those people talking? Not people. Pulses. Counting down. Counting down for what? Building something. What? Building what? We're going to find out. Is the virus freaking building something to get out of Eros to go somewhere else? I take it this means you know where you want to go? Eros. Something real bad. What's going on down there? Yeah, 
We know. And you know we have to destroy it. Destroy arrows? Well, I mean, I was also thinking that, but... Dresden was gonna get away with it. And I didn't kill him because he's crazy. I killed him because he was making sense. So he also thought that... Any idea how we can take out a whole asteroid? Yeah. With that... <gasps> he wa he's going to use the Mormon ship? What? <laughs> what? <gasps> oh my god, no way! That was a really cool, very interesting episode. So when when Chris was talking about Deimos and about its meaning, about it being the representation of fear that war brings, it felt like a premonition of what is to come. Even though it seems that Mars is standing their ground for now instead of retaliating. And Chris is so smart and wise she knows that she shouldn't underestimate the martians because even though they don't have the sufficient numbers compared to earth they are much better prepared to fight and if they set their minds to invade and take earth they have a very good chance of succeeding i don't understand why naomi wasn't agreeing with holden regarding the choice that uh, miller did by killing dresden it seems like both her and Miller just thought it was a good idea to kill him. Maybe for revenge or to prevent more belters to be experimented on. I just thought that being who she is, she would see how important it was to keep Dresden alive. At, le at least until they could retrieve some uh, information that they needed to stop the virus. When Holden was talking to Paolo, at first I thought that this guy must be so obsessed with this project that he just doesn't show any remorse or that this was some kind of cult and that his mind was so manipulated that he saw Dresden as someone who was doing something truly good. Not to mention that with his past, of course he would follow Dresden so that others wouldn't have to go through what his mother went through. I never expected that Dresden would purposely take away his empathy. But it does make sense, since if you're gonna do this kind of project and you can't do it alone, the people who will work for you need to be logical and not emotional. Otherwise, there will always be the risk of someone betraying you and ruining the project. What's curious is that even though he didn't show any compassion towards people from Eros, he, he seemed to be truly concerned about the virus when Holden told him that uh, they had shut off the power and his face towards that news, he seemed very concerned about the virus being starving. And it was very interesting how Amos approached him. Like he knew exactly what to say to Paolo in order to get the information he needed. It was kind of scary as well. Like how did he know what to do? How did he figure this guy out? And how come he's so good with his face expressions in order to trick others? I feel like he must have gone through a lot and developed a great sense of surviving skills and coping mechanisms in order to survive. It makes the character Amos very psychologically interesting. And the way that Paolo was describing how the virus is evolving, it does seem to confirm what I was thinking about the virus making a copy of the person that is infected. And now it's developing its voice and possibly a way to communicate. I'm thinking that it might be trying to communicate with itself, like with the individual copies, in order for them to cooperate since Apparently, it's building something. I'm thinking that the virus might be trying to build a ship in order to get out of Eros and go to another asteroid or somewhere else in order to infect other people and continue to grow and learn. Or some sort of like a long range communicator to reach its origins since Dresden was saying that it might be some alien or something that planted 
the virus on Phoebe. So Chris and Fred are going to work together to try and stop this war. I think that's really cool, but at the same time, I'm a bit worried that if Fred gives Chris something truly important and like something massive, I'm a bit concerned of what she will actually do with that information. Because we see how she is, and even though she's trying to keep the peace, she will always put Earth first and her intentions first. And it does seem that Fred has something that can truly help, but it will put him at risk. So I'm thinking in the end, she might turn him over or betray him in some way, but I'm still not sure what it is this thing that he's going to give to her. It could be the chip that it was inside of Lopez's suit, but I think he has already shared that information, unless he didn't share all of the information. Otherwise, it could be more information about the details of the virus and the protogen and about Dresden as well. And I actually thought that Miller was thinking about joining the Mormons since, you know, when a person feels lost, they always tend to turn to religion for solace. I just thought it was a bit dubious since he doesn't like space and he's clearly a skeptic person. So when he told Fred he wants to use the Mormon ship to destroy arrows, <laughs> that was just... Okay. That, that, that's a crazy and magnificent idea, but it made a lot more sense. But how is he going to do this? Is he like going to steal the ship? Is he going to find a way to manipulate the coordinates so that the ship will go and destroy arrows, but it's going to take the Mormons along with them, killing two birds with one stone? <laughs> And what if Holden finds out? He's trying to help the people on Eros. But in my opinion, I think it would just be better to destroy Eros. I just think it would be the safest choice instead of letting this virus evolve and possibly get out and just contaminate more people. Especially now that it's evolving so fast and probably thinking of a way to get out. So yeah, things are getting very interesting and I'm looking forward to the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you would like to watch the full reaction to this episode, you can check the link down below for my Patreon. Or you can just buy me a coffee to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.